Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Morning, troops. This episode of Book Break comes to you from my kitchen. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I spend about 50% of my time feeling pretty sluggish and the other 50% trying to kid myself into eating something that isn't beige. I don't like the gym, I'm busy as all hell, and if I don't eat, I turn into some kind of basilisk. And then comes trotting into our offices, talk of Joe Wicks. Well, trotting probably isn't the word, more like leaping. I have to admit, when people first started mentioning him, I had to nod along and then quickly have a Google. Turns out he's kind of a big deal. 470,000 Instagram followers and over 300 people signing up to his plans every day. It's kind of embarrassing, I hadn't heard about him before. Now Joe set his mind to a really anti-bump, anti-fluff, anti-jargon approach to healthy living. It seems to be the anti-fad diet. His Instagram is short, long videos explaining how to make recipes supposedly only take 15 minutes to prepare. Get yourself a big mushroom, hollow them out of a spoon, red onion, maybe tomato, feta cheese, one egg, salt and pepper, bang them in the oven, baby spinach, lamb's lettuce. He may be small and green, but he does have a car though. Good morning world! And that right there is lean him 15. He does H-I-T-T -T workouts that take 20 minutes and you have to do them four to five times a week. Not bad. Not bad. Jim insists that carbohydrates are no sin, calorie counting is no saviour, and gym membership plus bags of time isn't the only way to make your body a temple. Apparently, I even get to eat pancakes for breakfast. Suspicious. I cornered Joe to find out more. So guys, we've got Joe Wicks in the studio here. I'm about to grill him. Now, Joe, I'm not really in for these kind of fad diet things. I'm very suspicious of you. Yeah. So you've got 10 questions to convince me. Go Are for you it. ready? Yeah, okay. Do it. Right, so first thing is, I hate going to the gym. Do I have to go? The great thing about Lean in 15 is that anybody can do it anywhere. In fact, some of my best transformations have been people at home. All they need is a set of dumbbells. So the question is, no, you don't need a gym. No gym. No, no gym. gym membership. No, no. So yoga mat. Fine. And, um, Set of dumbbells. That seems fair. Next thing, um, I get really, really hungry. And when I get hungry, I get grumpy. And when I get grumpy, I get fired. Uh, are you going to starve me? <laughs> so the best thing about this is that I'm known for getting people to eat more food and burn more fat. So you're not going to go hungry. If anything, you're going to say to me, Am I really, should I really be eating all this food? Because I'm full up and I can't do it. So I get to eat more food than I usually do? Yeah, it's the right stuff at the right time. So you're never, ever going to go hungry with Lean in 15. I'm still suspicious, fact. but we'll continue. Um, I'm really bad at maths. Are you going to make me calorie count? I'm calorie not counting that. is so no. last year. No, that is so last year. I don't want you to count calories. I don't want you to think about anything but enjoying the food, cooking yummy food, and you know, fueling your body so you feel energized. Who wants to count calories? That's boring. No, next. We're, we've agreed on something. I'm excited. Yeah, okay. Do I get to keep chocolate? He's going to fail. You can keep chocolate as much as you want in a cupboard, and then in 90 days <laughs> when you finish the plan or when you've done your Lean in 15 recipes, then you can come back for a little treat. That seems fair. Every now and again, yeah. I'll let you off. How about curry? Curry's my favourite. You can't cut me curry. So I've got Thai green curry, I've got go and fish curry in the book. There's loads of curries aren't the devil, it's just the greasy takeaway ones. We're talking about home cooked, healthy, lean curries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How about he's gonna fail now. Burgers. Hello, it's one of my favourite things ever. You don't like, need burgers. Burgers. I don't believe you. I don't care what restaurant I'm in, anywhere in London, if there's a burger on the menu, I'm having it. So I've got a turkey burger, which is called a Joe's McLeany turkey burger. Mm -hmm. And I've got a really amazing beef burger. And I've also got a club sandwich, which you're going to love in the book. So, I'm yeah. going to love it, apparently. Burger, I'm hashtag excited. burger me. <laughs> burger me. Okay, um, so all of this stuff you've been talking about, I sounds like I have to cook it. Now that's an issue. I'm really, really bad at cooking. Yeah, well, basically, I taught myself to cook. So the reason it's so successful, I think, is because it's simple. It's like, you know, one watt, five ingredients. So it doesn't matter how your, how um, basic your culinary skills are. As long as you can chop up a pepper and throw it in a pan, you're all right. So you haven't been to cooking school? Oh, no, Nobody not Nobody behind you cooking? No. That's just you? I taught myself, yeah. I mean, my mum can't even cook, so I've actually literally taught myself. <laughs> I went traveling. Your mother failed you. <laughs> this is all very well and good, um, but... Um, you can sit there and be lean all day and that's your job, you get to move around, it looks all very fun. I'm quite a busy person, I'm quite, I'm too busy. I don't think, I don't think I've got time for this. So I always say, everyone has 24 hours in a day, we can all do 20 minutes of exercise and if you prep like a boss, which is preparing like your meals, you can cook your meals, prep them on a Sunday and set yourself up for the week ahead. So there's always somebody busier than you, more stressed out with Probably. more kids. 
and I've stressed, <laughs> more stressful job getting Lane with Lane in 15. He's told me. I'm kind of a little bit convinced. Um, how did you get your hair like that? So, a lot of people ask me that, honestly, on Twitter. Yeah. Joe, why is your hair so curly? Do you perm it? It's not a perm, but I do put Lucy B coconut oil in it sometimes, because that is the key to a curly locks. <laughs> I'm going to get a lean body and nice hair. I'm very excited. Thanks, yeah. Joe. You're a fan? Do you believe in it? I believe. You're I'm a converter. believer. <laughs> Preach. Now, after all that grilling, I'm kind of peckish. Let's try out this pancake thing. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. pancake I went back and added twice as many of the ingredients and made some mixture and it's in this fridge here because it was gorgeous. I also tried out some of the HIIT workouts and they weren't as bad as I expected although I am less than talented at burpees or whatever they're called but practice makes perfect. Joe also just turned 30, pinky promise I swear he is 30. Um, so we decided to throw him a party. You want to come along? So, it's time to stop body shaming, start moving and get Lean in 15. There's a link to the eShort below. His new cookery book is out in January. Ooh. And if you could let me know in the comments different ways to get healthy without it feeling like torture, I would really appreciate it. Because if I have another morning like this morning, I think I'm gonna have to go and hide under my desk again. We'll see you on another book break. Over and out. And time to... Last week it was the cockerels. This week it's the builders. I might cook some more of those pancakes.